when you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. Do you have a system to notify you whenever a new rating or a view or a blog comment or a mention is posted online about either you or your business? Well, this is important. So on a monthly basis at a minimum, you need to know what's going on out there. What if somebody, well, we talk about in one of our sites. We talk about Dr. Samuels. Right. And Dr. Samuels had a patient who went and wrote something, and Dr. Samuels really didn't know what was going on online, and wrote something. And so those coming into the waiting room, the numbers were dwindling. Well, okay, so I need a little vacation. I'll take a little more time off. Whatever. Then all of a sudden, they really were dwindling. Right. He just didn't know what was going on. And somebody finally kind of tapped him on the shoulder and said, have you seen what's going on online? And he, to his utter devastation, realized that a very nasty, angry person had gone on multiple sites and posted negative reviews and really just lambasted him, destroyed his reputation. Right. And you can't tell when you do that search that it's the same person. You, all you see is lots of different places all pointing to the same negative information. It makes you look awful. It makes you, it makes you look terrible. And you don't want to wait on that. You need to know that. Um, yeah. We, we don't want to encourage people to say negative things, but they're already saying things about us. They're saying things already in Facebook, they're saying things on Twitter, wherever they turn out to be, they could write a blog post. We need to know about it. So the assessment and the monthly monitor will help you understand right, what's going on. Because essentially what we're talking about is you have to keep, you can't just do an assessment and say, shoo, nothing negative about me, I'm okay. Because this is a very dynamic place on the internet. P things are changing constantly. So exactly. really we're talking about reassessing at, on at least a monthly basis and getting a listing of, all right, what have people said? Where have they mentioned me? Is it good? Is it bad? And you know, good or bad, they're both opportunities for you to build your reputation. I mean, negative comments are a, an opportunity for you to post a rebuttal, for you to uh, show your customer service by saying, okay, I've really heard what you've said here and here's what I'm gonna do to improve it. So negative is not something to be afraid of. Not knowing that there's something negative, you should be very afraid of. Absolutely. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.